This video covers the installation of the 12 volt equal to differential controller. A differential controller electronically senses temperature differences between the collector and the bottom of the tank using two 10K sensors called thermistors. A differential control is not a thermostat. When other collectors are 12 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter than the temperature in the bottom of the tank, the differential controller turns on the pump. When the difference gets to 4 degrees Fahrenheit or less, it turns the pump off. The differential on is adjustable. We suggest 12 degrees Fahrenheit as the best setting. The Eagle 2 has a large, easy to read 40 character backlit LCD display that shows every parameter measured and controlled by the microprocessor. It also has two auxiliary thermistor inputs for optional sensors, as well as an adjustable high temperature limit and open loop system freeze protection. First, attach the control to a wall or to the side of the tank, as shown. You will then be attaching the collector and bottom of tank sensor wires, the PV panel wire and ground, and finally the pump wires. Use shielded 22 gauge wire for the sensors and 18 gauge or thicker wire for the PV panel. Install the collector sensor inside the top outlet of the collector with a sensor loosely hanging under the absorber. Okay. Attach the storage tank bottom sensor under the insulation and firmly against the inner tank wall by pushing it under the plastic lining and the inner steel tank. Connect the collector and storage tank sensors to the appropriate pins and the sensor block. Plus and minus do not apply to sensors, so it does not matter which pin the red or black or white goes into. If using the two auxiliary sensors, we suggest that aux one be taped or clamped to the copper collector return line about two feet above the pump so that a heat exchanger temperature difference can be observed. Auxiliary two can be taped or strapped to the base of the hot out of the storage tank, so actual tank temperature can be measured. Be sure to cover the sensors with insulation. Next, you connect the collector, tank, and optional auxiliary shield wires to the shield pin on the far right of the collector sensor block. You will need to attach a short wire to the shield block to wire cap the shields to. Twist the wire around this short wire and insert into the wire cap. The PV panel negative wire goes to the right side of this power block. The SS relay, SSRLY, for switch relay, switches the pump on and off. So the pump's negative wire is connected to the left side of the power block on the right side of the fuse. The PV panel is grounded to the right, EG, for earth ground, side of this power block. To ground the PV panel, connect the green wire to the PV panel frame and the other end to earth ground, e.g. located on the right side of the pump relay block. Check to be sure the controller's on diff DIF differential knob is set to 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Set the high limit knob on the right to 170F. As the last step, be sure to set relay to auto for automatic operation of the pump. Controllers for open loop systems using freeze protection use a special transformer with an auto shut off turn on feature. Two blocking diodes are required to prevent a reverse power feed that could damage the PV panel or the transformer. Locate one on the positive wire on the PV panel and the other on the transformer positive wire. 
Skyline 3 systems have these diodes pre-installed on the Eagle 2 controller.